SpaceX is striving to expand its grip of the stars even farther as Elon Musk is nearly done developing a warp drive. Traveling at the speed of light and beyond are now only possible through the use of warp drive in science fiction novels. However, it could not be long before this futuristic technology becomes a reality. Elon Musk is reportedly working hard to figure out how to create a warp drive, according to a report. Many scientists are looking into the possibilities, so they aren't the only ones trying to make the unthinkable reality. Nevertheless, there are a number of significant obstacles to overcome, so join me as we further explore the possibility of exploring the cosmos using a warp drive. You've determined that 2022 is long enough. In order to travel to the nearest inhabited planet, you have built a spacecraft. None of the typical candidates, such as our nearby neighbors Mars, Venus, or Titan, are potentially inhabited. Your best bet is to take off for one of our nearest interstellar neighbors rather than take the chance of experiencing any more calamities in 2023. Astronomers discovered many potentially hospitable exoplanets in our closest neighbor Proxima Centauri in 2017. It appears like this could be your best bet. How long will it take you to reach your new destination, though? As a point of comparison, take into account that the Saturn V rocket that propelled the Apollo 11 spacecraft into orbit clocked in at just under 40,000 kilometers per hour. Let's, however, assume that your spacecraft has a top speed that is roughly equivalent to that of the Parker Solar Probe, or little around 700,000 kilometers per hour. How long will it take you to go to Proxima Centauri, which is about 4.2 light years away from Earth? Several months? Years? Decades? It would take roughly 6,600 years for you to reach your target, assuming you could move as quickly as the Parker Solar Probe. Given that you have figured out a method to survive, no amount of gaming will keep you occupied for that long. For example, it would take 113,000 years to reach Proxima Centauri if you could only move at the speed of the Apollo 11 spacecraft. You must comprehend the speed of light in order to comprehend warp drives. Maybe there's a way to solve your problem after all. Warp drive. You need to understand the vast scale of our universe and the concept of light years before we even start to accelerate into warp speed. In order to describe the size of the universe, which is unfathomably large, scientists typically employ the unit of light years. The distance that light covers in one year on Earth is known as a light year. Light travels at a speed of about 186,000 miles per second, making it the fastest object in our universe. About 6 trillion miles or 9 trillion kilometers are contained in one light year. Traveling at the speed of light would take 8.3 minutes to get you to the Sun, which is a little closer to us. To get to Andromeda, the largest nearest galaxy to us, would need traveling 2.5 million light years. Even if we were to build a ship that could travel at the speed of light, there would be a finite number of places we could go. Not as difficult, but still unpleasant. The universe is, as we have stated, enormous. But could we build a vessel that can go faster than light? The concept of a warp drive may not be as far-fetched as formerly believed, even though it sounds like something from your favorite science fiction program or film. It might even be essential to our survival. In his famous quote, the late Stephen Hawking said, I don't think the human race will survive the next thousand years unless we spread into space. There are too many accidents that can befall life on a single planet, but I'm an optimist. We will reach out to the stars. Warp drive technology was defined as a device made to manipulate space, to violate the laws of motion. You make the slightest error, you'll collapse the warp field, you'll smash this ship. In the venerable Star Trek film and television series franchise. Sounds fantastic, doesn't it? Technically, a warp drive enables space travelers to move more quickly than the speed of light. According to Star Trek, it functioned by creating warp fields to create a subspace bubble around the starship. This caused the local space-time continuum to be warped and allowed the starship to travel at speeds that were often much faster than the speed of light. In Star Trek, all interstellar travel and trade are made possible by this fictitious technology from the year 2450. What about in reality, though? Defining a warp drive. Warp speed ahead. As previously stated, in our conceived universe, a warp drive would enable us to literally control space-time, exploiting a flaw in physics to travel at the speed of light. The Alcubierre warp drive, which is currently merely a theoretical concept, is the closest approach to an actual warp drive. It is based on a very speculative physics paper written in 1994 by Mexican physicist Miguel Alcubierre, who offered what he claimed to be a workable explanation for the interaction between space-time and energy. What would prompt us to act in such a manner? You can give Einstein credit. For more than a century, our view of the cosmos has been guided by Albert Einstein's special theory of relativity. Relativistic cosmology has placed limitations on how science has been conducted. One of these suggested limitations is based on the notion that the speed of light is an indestructible, all-encompassing speed cap. 
These rules out feats like interstellar travel at the speed of light. Alcubierre's response? He thinks that possibly altering space-time will provide the answer. How exactly does your warp drive work? Let's revisit the case of the space flight to Proxima Centauri. In this instance, we have a new and upgraded ship with Alcubierre's warp drive technology installed, as opposed to a regular spaceship. How would it work perfectly? Simply put, as your ship moves towards Proxima Centauri, the space in front of it will become smaller while the space in back become larger. A bubble of flat space, also referred to as a warp bubble, would contain your ship as it traveled through space-time. The term Alcubierre metric refers to the answer to Einstein's field equations that would enable this kind of warp speed travel. Imagine that you and your roommate picked up the sheet on your bed, straightened it, and held each corner in place so that it was poised above the mattress, perfectly level and stable. This sheet would bend if a round crystal ball were dropped on it and then allowed to rest there. The sheet here is space-time, and here will be your spaceship inside of its warp bubble. Not only is our spacecraft creating a crater in space, but it is also expanding by dragging some space-time towards it and pushing space-time away from it. According to Matt Williams of Universe Today, since the ship is not moving within this bubble, but is being carried along as the region itself moves, conventional relativistic effects such as time dilation would not apply. Hence, the rules of space-time and the laws of relativity would not be violated in the conventional sense. The Alcubierre metric prevents our ship from deviating from Einstein's equations. This phenomenon would offer our customized spaceship distinctive qualities. In comparison to a light beam moving outside our warp bubble, we may get there faster inside our bubble. It's interesting to note that contrary to what Einstein predicted, the fabric of space-time is not constrained by the speed of light. However, with the warp drive, there are some issues. What kind of spaceship would we need to build in order to accomplish this? For our faster-than-light travel to be viable, we would need to design a football-shaped spacecraft with a huge ring surrounding it. Consider the gigantic ship seen in Interstellar or even 2001 Space Odyssey. The ring encircling the ship would be composed of exotic stuff, which would force space-time to distort around it and result in the described scenario. So why don't we support this? Space-time would have to be extremely large in order to be able to support the construction of a spacecraft that could warp. The minimal energy needed would be roughly equivalent to the mass energy of Jupiter. Scientists' opinions have recently been changed, though. There is hope, according to Harold Sonny White of NASA's Johnson Space Center, who mentioned the idea of developing an Alcubierre warp motor at the 100-year Starship Symposium, a gathering to examine interstellar spaceflight. It was originally thought that the ring on our ship had to be a perfect circle, which added to the complexity of its construction. White's updated calculations, however, suggest that the ring encircling our ship be more oblong in shape. The mass energy of the Voyager 1 probe might be used to power a spacecraft in this way. Even more recently, it was implied in a study released by NASA that the space agency had at least given warp drive technology a serious examination. Before we become an interplanetary species, there are many steps that must be taken to attain interstellar travel, and it may take a very long time. There are numerous other actions we must follow in order to arrive at our destination. It will be a huge challenge to establish a self-sustaining civilization on Mars. There needs to be an intersection of the set of people who wish to go and the set of people who can afford to go, remarked Elon Musk once, and that intersection of sets has to be enough to construct a self-sustaining civilization. Warp drive technology, though, might be a crucial first step. We can place our hopes on the advancement of ion propulsion up until that point. Do you believe warp drive technology will be available soon? What places would you visit? Let us know your thoughts on the comment box below. Please subscribe and don't forget to like today's video. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.